Today, we are going to show you the new product from WPM. So this is a single dose grinder, the latest product from the WPM company. So WPM is a Hong Kong company established during 2005. And for so many years, they are making like espresso machine, milk jug, barista tool, coffee grinder, and they do OEM for other brands. Uh, other famous brand, you can find it out yourself. I don't want to mention here. This is a grinder from WPM. It's a single dose grinder. The specification of this grinder is a full aluminum body with a 64 milliliter flat burr. So during the purchasing, you can choose from original burr, a coating burr, or the SSP burr. Uh, the price will be different, so it's up to your need. So this one comes with the original burr and this is a stepless grinder so you can adjust very smooth from here and the grind speed this grinder is allow you to adjust adjust the rpm so this is the grind speed it allow you all the way from 600 rpm to 1200 but it didn't show you the rpm speed it just show you the number one to number ten so you have to calibrate by yourself the grinder comes with the brass, brassless DC motor. It's a powerful motor, allow you to grind from the light rose bin all the way to the very brittle bin. The hopper capacity here is can put around 40 gram, mm, sometimes 50. It depends on your bin size. The voltage of this motor is using 220. Uh, on the website, of course, you can choose 110, depending on which country you are. And it's using 50 to 60 hertz. The power you need for this grinder is uh, 140 to 155 watt. And the net weight of this is okay, it's not light, it's a little bit heavy, it's about 8.5 kilogram. So this is the main spec of the grinder. This grinder, you have the cover, the hopper cover, and of course this is the chamber and the burr holder with a dosing cup and the acid chute. So this is what you have with the grinder and it comes with this rubber ring, the grip for you to be easy to adjust the grind size here. Of course, you can still open up here, this two ring, and you can be more easy to recalibrate the grind size to the zero point. This grinder comes with the what we call the fast unlock function, mean you just need to align the dot here and here, you put it back and then lock done it's so easy right compared to all the traditional grinder it's very easy you can cleaning access to the burr and uh, perform a cleaning without messing your grind setting here and secondly you have this tool this is the static remover ionizer so without this when you grind the coffee you will have static and all the particles are flying around so with this it can help you to make all the coffee drop in to remove the static and drop to your dosing cup so and you have this this is help you to remove some coffee stay here into the dosing cup with some rpm control here and the on off switch in the in the market today most of the single dose grinder is come with all this magnetic function and same as this so you have two magnetic part one is on the top here one is in the bottom so the magnetic of this is quite strong so you can grind your coffee here and then this is a 58 milliliter diameter so you can just put it in your potter filter to dose your espresso the original grinder come with this burr is allow you to grind all the way from espresso to french press cold brew french press let's test to use the grinder and see what we can do grinder is on and we are on the lowest rpm now so according to the manufacturer number one is 600 rpm so by turning on this yeah the motor turn faster and now is 1200 rpm as we know by the different dry speed we can have a different profile in the coffee uh, i think we will do a test on this for the next video today we are just going to see how this grinder do in the espresso shop and also a pour over okay so let's see how is the performance of this grinder in espresso and pour over so we will quickly make one espresso shot and then make one pour over with this first we will start with the espresso 
I'm using 16 gram of the Columbia medium light rose. Okay, let's turn on. I will keep the RPM by 8. So 8 is, is around 1000 RPM. So almost. So let's knock. Okay, let's see. 15.9. So uh, if it will take, it will have a little bit of retention around 0 0.1 gram, but uh, it doesn't matter because most of the single dose, it will have some a gap in between. So when that area is filled up every time, you can get the same dose. So let's make espresso with this. Let's see how. This crema, yeah, it takes about 40 seconds for extraction. This is a kind of like a ristretto. We are using 16 gram in, 25 gram out. So let's taste. Mm, the body is really creamy. Taste balance, almond aftertaste, very bright acidity in the flavor, but it disappears fast and it turns out like chocolate and almond aftertaste. Let's get into a pour over now. So let's make move to pour over and see how this grinder doing. Uh, because I didn't use this grinder for pour over before. So uh, just now after we check, I think the grind size is roughly from 8 to 10. So let's keep 8. And today I'm going to use the Robusta coffee. This is the Robusta coffee from the 2024 Vietnam Amazing Cup Green Bean Competition. This is the champion coffee. I will use 20 gram. So 20, 19.9, 20, okay. I will keep the same grind size, 7.5, which is about 900 to 1000. One good thing about this uh, design is, it's anti-popcorn. So even if you are not covered, it's not really popcorn. So I'm uh, doing, I'm doing 20 gram in, 300 gram water. The ratio is about 115. The technique I'm going to perform today is uh, Ittorio. So I'm going to brew slowly with 92 degree of hot water. So I will brew with very slow water flow. Seems like the grind size is a little bit fine for this. So I think should be go to 10 will be better. But it's okay. Let's finish the brew and see how. This Ittorio technique, we are not going to stop. For print fusion, we are just keep keep focus on the center area with a very slow flow rate, about three gram per second to the end, not to the end, to the target, and then we will fast up the flow rate. So I, my estimate total contact time is around two minutes. So we are almost to go to the fast flow rate soon. Okay, now okay, three hundred. Let's give it a shake. The good thing about this cardo filter is they hold the paper really well, so it give enough space for the air to go in so it will not easily get stuck so your flow is always very smooth even you get a little bit fine grind it doesn't matter okay one minute 45 not bad wow it's really nice like a tropical fruit aroma let's have a drink and see if this coffee over extract or not The acidity is really bright. A lot of spices, tropical fruit, not spices, not. Yeah, the aftertaste is a little bit, they have a little bit like uh, over extract, a bit of bitterness. 
I think we can go through the uh, grind size adjustment to fix the problem. But in general, this is a nice brew. I think this grinder really can get performed for a filter coffee to the espresso. So based on this result, even just now the grind size general a little bit fine, but the flow when you brew is not get stuck. I mean the fine generated by this coffee is not too much. Uh, we will make another video more detail about a different grind speed, a different grind size for brew and espresso to see how much fine really in this coffee in this grinder, uh, how much fine this grinder produce, and we will have a better conclusion on that. My opinion about this grinder, first thing about the price, it costs about one thousand dollar. Come with the original burr set, it's approximate twenty four million dong in Vietnam. But what makes this grinder can compete with the same range of the grinder in the market today? For example, the DF64. DF64 is half price of this grinder. But before this, before I use this grinder, I use this grinder for a month. But before this, when I look at this grinder before I had it on my hand, I think like, who want to pay twenty-four million, a thousand dollar for a sixty-four? mm burr but after i use i feel it worth for the price for my opinion because of the user experience design the engineering and the design here is very detailed when you use the grinder all the part all the part like power button the speed adjust the attitude the cup the burr unlock anti-static is all on the sweet point. They engineering everything in this small grinder very well, positioning everything. So I think another half of the price you pay for this grinder is for the using experience. So far, everyone is happy here when they are using the grinder daily. It's so easy to clean. It's so easy to calibrate and adjust cleaning without messing up the grind size. Anti-static. And the power button. This is a design on the right spot. You, if you go to look back for many grinder in the market, the power button is always in the spot, which is not really like uh, easy to assess. But the power button here with the speed adjust here is on the sweet spot. This is my opinion about this grinder. I think uh, I will continue to put it in the bar for espresso grinding purpose. So thank you for watching today. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.